This is Twit. Uh, Colby is on the line from Clinton, Massachusetts. Hello, Colby. Leo Laporte here. Hi, Leo. Hey. I have a question. Where would you get Linux, the operating system, like a safe way? U B U N T U dot com. Ubuntu. Okay. Ubuntu dot com. Now, uh, I mentioned earlier uh, a, a great website, Distro Watch. That's distrowatch.org. That's a site where you can see a listing of various Linuxes. All of those are will have links, and all of those are reliable links. Yeah, because I have a Windows XP computer. And yeah. Tuesday is the deadline, so... There's a lot of concern about this. I believe you can continue to run XP safely if you know what you're doing. But, you know, this is an opportunity to, to put something more reliable, more modern, and something that will be kept up to date. And it should run great on an older uh, machine. Uh, Linux is a good choice. There are um, Linuxes that are... One of the choices you can make as you create a distribution, and all of these are different flavors of Linux are called distributions, is what the target hardware is. So you can say, look, I'm going to create a Linux that's designed for older machines, you know, Pentium 2s, Pentium 3s, the early core processors. I, I'm going to design this Linux to be optimized for machines with less memory, uh, 2 gigs of RAM, for instance, instead of 8 or 4. And, and so you'll see there are a variety, of, if you go to DistroWatch, a variety of Linuxes designed for older systems that will run better on those older systems. So if you feel that Ubuntu isn't running too well, it should, uh, depending on how old that XP, how old is that XP machine? Oh, uh, like 13 years old. Yeah, you got it when XP came out. So it's pretty old, but if Ubuntu doesn't run well, there are other choices. Uh, remember, if you do that thing I mentioned where you where you you try it on by booting it from a CD or a, or a, a USB key on that machine, you'll have to boot it from a CD. Um, it will run slower because it's not running off of a hard drive. Um, so that's not a, a good way to measure the performance, the speed, but uh, it is a good way to see if everything works right. The older the machine, this is weird. With Windows, the newer the machine, the more likely it'll work. With X, with uh, Linux, the older the machine, the more likely it'll work because people have had time to get it working. So its older machines are really perfect for trying Linux. I guess this is gonna, <laughs> this is going to be. I was a little worried that we were going to do a show today that was all about XP because Tuesday's the last day Microsoft's going to offer updates. There will be the the you know the normal second Tuesday update on uh, April 8th. And after that, never again. They're going to keep Microsoft Security Essentials, their, their antivirus, going. But if you want to continue to run unit, uh, XP, you don't want to put another operating system on, then you can, I think you can, relatively safely, by uh, making sure you don't run as administrator, run as a standard or limited user. Uh, don't use Internet Explorer, by the way. That's not up to date. It's Internet Explorer. You want you, They don't have the latest versions. And the older the version of Internet Explorer, the much more risky it is to use it. So use Chrome. Google says they're going to keep Chrome up to date for XP at least through 2015. So use Chrome. That's free from Google.com slash Chrome. And that has a lot of advantages from a security point of view. You should also be very careful about the links you click don't open software. Don't take software from strangers. If somebody messages you on Facebook, oh, I got the video from last night, you won't believe it. Don't click that link. It didn't come from your friend. It came from your friend's hacked account. Be really careful. And remember, you're going to have to get new applications. You're not going to be able to use Microsoft Office, Colby. You can. There's a program called Wine that lets you do that. But you probably want to use the Linux versions of you know, the open source free versions of all these programs like LibreOffice. Uh, that's free. And uh, most Linux distros will come with that stuff. They'll come with at least a good assortment of free software. So you, you once you install it, you're ready to go. Good luck, Colby. It's going to be a fun project for you. I think it's actually a great way. Here's the thing, Colby. You could become the expert and, uh, and, and you know, get that little USB key with your Ubuntu on there. And go around to all your friends and family who are still using those old machines. Say, you know what? It's not secure to use XP anymore. Can I help? 
Chrome is available for Linux as part. It's actually called Chromium on Linux because it's the open source project that created Chrome. Um, but it is available. Actually, I think Google Chrome is also available, but I always use Chromium. Don't use your AOL browser. <laughs> That's not a good idea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, they will not update Microsoft security. This is a common source of confusion. Let me make this clear. They said they will not update Microsoft Security Essentials, the program, but they will continue to offer virus updates. I don't worry about that too much because the, the vi antivirus is not going to protect you. It's, uh, it's what you do that's important. And there are plenty of third-party antiviruses you can get.